fans you've got it on 2k sports as we get set to bring you exciting nba action this is brian anderson with clark kellogg and grant hill and giving us the rundown from the sidelines reporter ali Le hey ali with the greek freak well certainly makes him harder to stop ali thanks for that and a look now at the milwaukee bucks upcoming schedule on thursday they'll be facing bradley beal and the washington wizards then on Saturday, they'll be matching up against Steven Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. The road is never the highlight of your schedule for any team. But for these guys, it is a chance to go out there, test themselves, and see how well they gel outside of home court. It could be a very valuable experience. So let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. Ball and Levine make up the backcourt. Nikola Vucevic is out there with Alizé Johnson. And it's DeRozan in at the three slot. Ball with it, and Lopez picks him up. DeRozan against Holiday. Nifty move, and it's DeRozan with the bucket inside. And we know the long season is a grind for players, Grant. What about the coaches? You know what? A long season is a grind for everyone. Not just for the coaches, but for the training staffs, for the basketball operations department. Everyone involved understands that it's a grind both physically and mentally. And Levine, here we go. Giannis with the rebound. And the lamp is good off the glass. From role player to MVP, Giannis is improving his upper body strength. has really been a factor in his overall development. Middleton against DeRozan. There's the drive. And the dunk by DeRozan. B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. And, guys, I like the fact that he chose the one-hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Yeah, he just flat-out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. Here's Levine for three. Rebounded by the Bucks. And a huge sigh of relief for Bucks fans last year. Giannis signing a monster contract extension. He'll continue to be the franchise for years to come. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Ball passes to DeRozan. Vucevic, a screen on Middleton. DeRozan into the lane. Vucevic. Yes, great play by DeRozan to set him up. You know, Grant, many wondered if Giannis would test free agency ultimately avoided all that drama. Yeah, I mean, he wanted to stay and build a winner with the Bucks, And you know what? He did just that, bringing home the NBA championship. What a reward for the fans in the city of Milwaukee and just tremendous character from Giannis. Ball finds Levine. Three-pointer off the mark. Milwaukee has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. DiVincenzo can't hit. Chicago trailing here. On the wing, Levine. Middleton covering. Levine passes to Johnson. The shot won't fall. Good D by Anadokounmpo. The Bucks have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Oh, and Giannis hammers it in. Good find that time by DiVincenzo. An unselfish player always looking to make the extra pack. And the Bucks going with a whole new group out there. Timeout call. 
About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Bradley sets a screen. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Outside, Brown. Outside, White. Assisted by Alex Caruso. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. And that one good. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Here's Connaughton, defended by Brown. Pass to Ogile. Drives to the hoop. Some solid defense from Williams. Chicago has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Outside White. It's Brown on the wing. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. The Bucks have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Allen laid it in with a nice touch off the window. You know, that's what you want out of your point guard. He always really doing a nice job getting the ball from side to side and not hesitating at all in doing it. Right side Brown. Pass to Williams. Here's Caruso. There's 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Good. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. Hill the pass to Portis. Back to Hill. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. And for a combo guard, Hill has great speed getting to the rim. His dunking abilities almost off the charts. Here's Williams. Oh, great D that time from Portis. From 17. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Here's Caruso. Checked by Hill. Now White into the lane. That one's good for two. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. A nice first quarter of play. We've seen plenty of offense so far. Bucks ahead. They're up by three. And the second quarter is on its way when we return. up to play us. Guys bring energy to play against us. Guys. And Grant DiVincenzo would know about playing with energy. Yes, he would. I mean, he'd know about dominant teams, too. State titles in high school and two national titles at Villanova. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And when you consider how the Bucks are doing, guys, your thoughts? Oh, what I love was that first quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition. Yeah, I like the way they play. They're looking to get up and down the court every time. Race horse basketball here tonight. Strap it up. Don't look down. You'll miss something. DiVincenzo and Middleton make up the perimeter. Giannis plays the four with Lopez in the middle. And it's Holiday in at the point. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. On the wing, Jones. Back to DeRozan. Outside, Jones. Pass to DeRozan. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Over Middleton. And it's DeRozan missing. Milwaukee in the lead. Holiday drives in. And Vucevic with the block. Denied. Return to sender. That's something you expect from a seven-footer like Vucevic. And that one's good. Holiday's got his second basket of the game. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. The Bulls have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Well, you can't ever feel safe with Holiday on the floor. Grant, he is one of the great ball hawks in the NBA. Yeah, he reads plays very well. He has a good wingspan to swipe away errant passes. One of the many reasons Holiday is such a great defender. Chicago foul. Derek Jones Jr. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. We're 
We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And Chris Middleton, a great three-point shooter. But he's got a deadly mid-range game as well, Greg. Middleton is just flat out a shooter. Can pull up from anywhere on the floor. If you give him the mid-range, he'll take it and punish you. And on many other teams, Chris Middleton would be the star, Clark. But he plays the Robin role pretty well. Hey, I tell you what, B.A., there is nothing wrong with being 1A on the marquee when you're playing next to Giannis. He's overshadowed by the media because of Giannis, but his game makes a lot of noise all over the NBA. Takes it inside, and a great assist by Anna Kupo. That one goes in. Kupo's got three assists now in this one. The Bulls have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. And Levine, here we go. Can't hit from in close. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim. That's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. Chicago shooting 47% in this one. Looking efficient. The three is up. Nails it. And he's one for five with that one. On the catch and shoot, Levine is a really good option. He gets that shot off quickly. Timeout called. Fox Milwaukee, call timeout. while the pace of the game has picked up over the years, Grant, you played on teams that played all styles. Did you sense the direction the game was going in? Yeah, towards the end of my career, B.A., you could see that the up-tempo teams got more and more successful. So it was inevitable that other teams would follow suit. As we know, trends catch on fast and quick in the NBA. Portis, he's checked in for the Bucks. Hill comes in for Drew Holiday. Bradley, he's checked in for Chicago. White comes in for DeRozan. I'll tell you what, when Hill slices in like this, puts a lot of pressure on the defense and almost forces them to foul. And he knocks down the first one. Connaughton, he's checked in for the Bucks. He's perfect from the line this time. The Bulls have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Pass to Bradley. White on the wing. Bradley sets a screen. White can't hit. Locks him up and hauls it in. Love the high activity level. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks, B.A. Chris Middleton, a multiple all-star, yet always seems like he flies under the radar. Coach Bud said with how steady and subtle his game is, both defensively and offensively, he's a heck of a player that sometimes Derek I think Jones is underappreciated. Jr. But guys, I'd offer, Zach not Levine. by his teammates. No question, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you. Hill against Ball to the middle. And Adetokounmpo with the basket on the assist by Hill. Adetokounmpo's got his third bucket of the night. Pass to Jones. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. Adetokounmpo finds Portis. Back to Honor Kumpo. That one is off. Now Chicago takes it the other way. When this game is done, they'll be off to New Orleans as they take on the Pelicans. That'll be the second game of a five-game road trip. Well, you can't let Ball get this deep. I mean, once he's this close to the rim, that far inside, he's ready for the throwdown. Hill against Ball. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. Stolen by Ball. And up the court come the Bulls on the break. Here's Levine for three. Gets it to go. His second make in six tries. Levine is such a really good shooter from deep. You can't allow him to be alone at the arc. The Bucks trail. Anadokounmpo up top. Six points for him. Derek Jones Jr. That's his third personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for the Bucks. And that one falls for Ronald Kumbo. Multiple time MVP, the unique length of Giannis is impactful on both ends of the court. He's an absolute terror for opposing teams. Allen, he's checked in for the Bucks. He really wanted to capture the lead there, but on the bright side, at least the game is tied. A nice Boy, shot Brown by Brown. Jr. Defensively, you just can't afford to give these easy looks up. Just asking to get burned if you do. 
For Milwaukee, they've gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Allen with it. Here's Anadokounmpo using his post moves to get the two points. Anadokounmpo's got nine. And you know the way Giannis Anadokounmpo moves in the pick and roll is tough for the defense. I mean, there's no way really to match his size and skill set. Oh, White, right. good. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. Anadokounmpo inside. Williams defending. And the basket by Anadokounmpo. Really confident from the interior because of his length and strength. Giannis feels like he can score from anywhere, anytime. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into the half. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's pretty Thanks, I'm appreciated, Allie. And Welcome, everybody. Let's jump right in with a look at the players of the week. Hey, Shaq, did you know you won 20 Player of the Week awards in your career? That's it. I was thinking more like 100. Mm, here we go again. Get over it, Shaq. Ernie, I think you need to research your research. Oh, was, oh you got 21. I'm sorry. Okay, guys, now we have to talk about that commanding first half by Giannis. He's been excellent so far, shooting with great efficiency, carrying the offense. They have to be talking about him in the locker room, thinking how they can stop this guy. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense. That's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. On the court for the Bulls. Ball and Levine make up the backcourt. Alizé Johnson out there with DeMar DeRozan. And it's Vucevic in at the five spot. Hey, he's always looking to go downhill, and when he's on the attack, he's going for the dunk. The Bucks shooting it with confidence. 54% so far. Honor to Kumpo, the pass to Lopez. Ball against Holiday. And there's the lob. And out of bounds will be Chicago ball. Chicago ball. As we head towards the playoffs, let's see where the Eastern Conference standings sit. You look at Chicago with great effort over a long season. They're second in the conference. And, of course, there's the Bucks, two spots below. Checking out Chicago, they've been terrific throughout the regular season, showing they may be just the team to beat in the postseason. You know, the way they've handled just about every challenge that's been thrown at them this year, I don't see how they couldn't be considered front runners for the top. And a steal like that, with the conversion, can really start moving things in your direction. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Ball passes to Johnson. Now Levine. Inside, the kick out to Ball. Pass to Levine. On the wing to Rosen. Vucevic with it. Count it. Vucevic has got eight points. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Ojale, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Fourth in steals, fifth in fewest turnovers per game. And they got a spot in the top ten when it comes to hampering the opposing offense. They create solid coverage that doesn't allow for a lot of easy shots. And many of the turnovers they cause are a direct result of their terrific ball pressure. These guys just get up in your shirt. Five on the clock. Ojale. Count it and the foul. It's on Zach Levine. A versatile guard, DiVincenzo, is excellent at hitting his teammates in their spot. The Bucks making a switch here. Hill's checked in. And the Bulls also making a change. Williams is checked in. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. 
Can't get it to go. His second miss in six tries. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. The Bulls have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Levine passes to Williams. And Williams punches it home. You know, Zach Levine is not just a scorer. He's really good at setting up his teammates, too. The Bucs have gone three of three in the second half. Outside, Hill fires for three. Knocks down the long game. He's got seven. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And, Clark, you look at how Holiday has attacked on offense. He's got much more selective with his spots. To me, B.A., he's just more comfortable offensively. He's always been aggressive, but he's got a confidence to him now that is allowing him to really put the pedal to the metal offensively. I think something just clicked for him when he was with the pedal. Knocks down the triple. And right now, that's five buckets in a row. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. And some changes here for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Allen in for Drew Holiday. And Williams punches it home. And plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Patrick Williams. Now here's Hill. Not a lot of room. Ojale, no good. For Chicago, they've got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. Williams passes to Brown. Back to Williams. The kick out to White. Down to five on the shot clock. That three's off the mark. Milwaukee has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Drains the triple. Allen's got seven. Adjustment time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment here. We've gone about three and a half minutes here into the third. Picked by Vucevic. Pass to Caruso. Driving in to the inside. And Williams punches it home. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Timeout called the Bucks. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Typically, there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major. It could be just a slight tweak. Anadokounmpo is checked in for the Bucks. DiVincenzo comes in for Connaughton. DiVincenzo against Brown. Pass to Allen. Now here's Anadokounmpo. There's the triple. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Vucevic has got a rebound number five here tonight. Brown passes to White. Back to Brown. Here's Vucevic. To the paint. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Middleton has checked in for the Bucks. At the line for the ball. Shooting one. And we've got 28 seconds left in the third quarter. DiVincenzo, the pass to Anadokounmpo. Pass to DiVincenzo. Called in by Brown. I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. Out to the right wing. And it's Caruso on the take. It's deflected. That takes us to the end of the third quarter. What a game. Neither team giving ground. The Bucks on top. They lead by one. And don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
and just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. Yeah, and as a two guard, he's typically not a reluctant shooter, so it was really nice to see him orchestrating for a teammate instead. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Giannis plays the four with Lopez in the middle. Grayson Allen is out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Middleton in at the small forward position. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Chicago trailing here. And stolen by Anadokounmpo. Down low. The shot by Holiday, no good. It's not easy to finish in traffic, but those are chances he has to convert. Here's Vucevic. Outside Levine. Vucevic, a screen on Anadokounmpo. Levine passes to Vucevic. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Levine. Levine's got four assists now tonight. Milwaukee's gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Here's Anadokounmpo. And, you know, at almost seven feet tall, Antetokounmpo is, is dangerous down inside, really. I mean, the defense has to be physical with him if they want to have a chance at preventing him from scoring in the bank. And so Antetokounmpo nails both of them. And for Chicago, they're shooting around 59%. They've been outstanding on the offensive end. Shot by Levine, no good. Milwaukee in the lead. Outside Holiday. Takes a 13-footer. Off to left rim and out. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. White can't hit. The Bucks have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts of the fourth. Here's Hanna de Kumpo. And yes, it's good. He's seven for eight now. Giannis continues to expand his offensive arsenal. With that ball, his confidence and ability can actually take over more. Hill, he's checked in for Allen. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Billy Donovan was saying to the team. He told his players not to worry about the score. He believes in their talent, and he believes they'll be the stronger team down the stretch. Now, they've just got to go out and prove it. Guys? All right, Ali, thanks once again. On the wing, DeRozan. On an Akumpo covering. And stolen by Middleton. Outside, Hill. Lopez against Levine. And Lopez gets it to go. And it's a 10-point Bucks lead. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for Milwaukee. Defensively, they've played with a high energy level tonight. And all the steals we've seen, a result of that aggressiveness. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either. And it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Chicago's gone 0 for 3 here on the 4th. To the paint. To end the run. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Boy, oh, DeRozan showing you good recognition there. Saw the gap in the defense and fired the pass to the wide open man. Doesn't get much better than that. And the Bucks making a change here. DiVincenzo's checked in. Williams has checked in for Chicago. Substitution. Lopez, the screen on Williams. And it's out of Kumpo off the drive. Outside, DiVincenzo. Milwaukee, no good that time either. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. DeRozan passes to Williams, and the Bucks pushing it up now. Here's Middleton, and a great assist by Amin Kumpo, and that one goes in. And the Bucks lead by 10. Levine against DiVincenzo. And it's Zach Levine with the three. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. Ana Kumpo inside. Working on Williams. Some solid defense from Williams. Up top, Levine. He's covered by Holiday. And there's the foul. It's on Zach Levine. That'll be a second foul of the game. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. 
Outside Holiday. Back to Anadokounmpo. And Giannis with the dunk. Boy, that is some kind of heads-up basketball from Holiday. He does not sleep on the wide-open man. Founding perfect. Chicago has gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Middleton. 105 left to play in the fourth. Outside Holiday. And there's the drive. And he lays it up and in. And it's an 11-point Bucks lead. Both sides are simply waiting for the clock to make it official. This is going to end up in the books as a nice win for the Bucks. And it seemed like steals ended up making the difference in this game. No question. Their ability to force mistakes and turn them into points gave them an upper hand tonight. And they're going to win this one, making this their 47th victory so far. And boy, did they need to win this game after dropping the first two matchups against this squad. Now they can go into the final game of the season series with a ton of confidence. And you got to believe that's important. I mean, it's one thing to lose both games of an interconference series. It's a whole different story losing all four games to a team from your own conference. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Anytime they needed a bucket, they put the ball in his hands and say go make a play it was impressive to watch well you look at Vucevic right there that's clearly a shot that he's worked on the proof is in the pudding outside holiday so we see the Bucks get the win here even early on in this game they appeared happy to be playing at home and it makes a huge difference once they started to get into a groove we never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top thank you and now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game Allie take it away Allie thank you as always thank you for joining us that'll do it for now for Grant Hill Clark Kellogg and Allie LaForce this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching we'll see you next time